Today is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day and several designated places around Central Ohio will allow people to anonymously drop off any unwanted medications from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. right from their car. NBC4's Joe Collins is live at one of those locations with more details on the event. Joe. Matthew, good morning. I'm here at the Columbus Fire Train Academy, which is one of the 13 locations today for the uh, drug take back event day. And a couple of them that are police departments say that they're going to keep permanent drop boxes for people throughout the future. Now for here at the Columbus Fire Train Academy, they have a special occasion. They're going to have a community day after the event. So after you drop off any medication that you don't want, you can head on behind these gates behind me where they're going to have a couple events set up today for families. Some of them include a touch of truck event for the kids and fire safety. Columbus Public Health will be providing Narcan, COVID-19 test kits and free flu shots for anyone wanting to get vaccinated. The Division of Fire will also be able to provide families with food and canned goods courtesy of their partnership with Mid Ohio Food Collective. This event was started 25 years ago by the Drug Enforcement Agency as a way to prevent the misuse of medications and opioid addictions from ever starting. This event happens twice a year, one in April and one in October, usually on the last Saturday of the month. When the DEA came to Columbus Fire and police with this plan, they wanted to make it a day to also give back to their community. It was a joint effort. Um, it's been a few years now and we, we wanted to do something for the community to really give back and do something more than just the drug take back. As you can see by the tent behind me, they're starting to set up as everything will kick off at 10 o'clock. And one thing they're doing is they're encouraging people to wear any Halloween costumes they have as they want to make today a fun day. So if you have all your Halloween costume picked out, be sure to wear it here. Local for you, Joe Collins, NBC4. Joe, thank you.